I, I just don't understand what harm it would have been from just continuing to tell the stories that have been written, inclu- involving the Dangerous Alliance, while taking the time to give Doc and Gordy that well-built creative, right? Yep. Instead of all coming to that halt and then bringing them in and pushing them to the moon from the get-go, to your point. Well, and, and if you feature it, you know, and you, the Steiners are suddenly out there getting bounced around by these two guys that, that, you know, the audience may or may not know fully who they are and, and their success as a tag team, then I think, I think you damage the Steiners. Yeah. And, and in no way are we saying, hey, you know, these guys aren't amazing, two badasses. We're giving them their flowers. It is what it is. But when you're talking about storylines, uh, story writing good creative, making sure things make sense overall, again, what we've been building for the last several weeks on this show, all of a sudden it feels like we just hit a cement wall. And, and it just abrupt is, is the perfect word as far as some of the changes that are happening here with this Bill Watch change. And it just it just feels weird. Well, and it's ironic that we're taping this show. You know, we're, we're big fans of ECU baseball and football, as you know. Mm-hmm. Well, last night, I mean, the, the super whatever it's called tournament is going on right now. And the, uh, the first uh, pairing for ECU was Oklahoma. And last year, Oklahoma was in the World Series, uh, College World Series. So... And ECU wore them out the first game. They moved on to the host team, which is University of Virginia. Uh, They played those guys, and it was a pitcher's duel all the way, and I think it was a one-run game. ECU got beat. Now, that was last night. So now today, they've got to show up, and they've got to win two, which is tough. Mm -hmm. they got to play Oklahoma again. Right before we went on the air, it was 8-3, to Uh, ECU was wearing them out again. So now if they pull off their next win, they got to play a doubleheader today. Uh, They're back in this thing, and they'll play whoever's the number one, you know, team in this tournament and move on. The point I'm making is they had to earn their way up. That's right. No matter how they end up with this thing, Hell of a team, but they had to earn their way so that if I'm a fan and I haven't watched ECU baseball, I'm watching this and I'm going, hey, these guys, man, they're the real deal. They're in every game that they're in. They're in the game. doesn't matter. You can't count them out. you got to build that kind of reputation in our business, too, with teams same and, and thing. talent. It's the same thing. Yeah. Same principle. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right, Arn. Uh, I think about that. I'm, you know, obviously right now the NBA finals on. There's not a lot of people, fans of the sport, fans, you know, aren't of NBA. But you got two teams in there that might not be the sexiest superstar teams on there. But if you've been watching along, it's the two teams that deserve to be in there, right? They had to fight their way. But you watch that story unfold. That's why they have playoffs. That's why you you watch to see what happens and. Just to have randomly throw two, you know, hey, we're going to throw these, this tag team in the main event. They've been in Japan, but here they are. They're big badasses. We think you'll like them. I've been watching WCW Saturday night for the last six months. I don't know who they are. I'm a new fan, right? Yep. T- tell me more. So there you go. Well, listen, I want you to go, I want you to go back to 1992 real quick here, Arn. And as a 10-year veteran uh, of the business at this time, what were you hoping that Doc and Gordy would do for WCW. How about what they would do? They, you know, what would they bring to the locker room? What are some things that younger talent then and now could learn from Doc and Gordy and and their presence? What what was it like having them back? Well, new and fresh talent's always a good thing in the locker room, and when they can perform at the level that those guys could, it's another big huge plus. Uh, you know, plus they are legitimate. Those guys are two big legitimate tough guys walking around you know they had everything going for them and everybody that knows anything about the business we were all pulling for them to get over you know because when you're in that mix like the dangerous alliance was and as hard as we were getting pushed every week on tv and in the live events and all that it believe it or not it's okay to take a breath every now and then and go you know it doesn't hurt to to just be off 
a loop or two or wrestle some some guys that is a less than strenuous situation than the Steiner brothers. And uh, we were glad to see the, the influx of the new talent, to be honest with you.